Hi there, it's Adele. And here at Digitally Yours, I have a double header for you today. I've already made one movie about how to deal with a document that you're forced to copy, a Google Doc. And now I'm going to show you the secret of how to do that. So I'm just going to pull myself over here. Oh, that's better. Let's get started. Sometimes you have a, docu a Google Doc or a Google Slideshow that you want to share with your students so that they can make their own copy and work on it. If you just share the original Google Doc with them, they'll all be writing along very happily on the same Google Doc and run over each other. And that's great for when you want them to work collaboratively. But when you want a file, a Google Doc or Google Slides from each individual student, then you need to do it a little bit differently. And I'm going to show you the secret of how to do that. If you're doing it in Google Classroom, then it's really easy. But not all of our schools are in Google Classroom. In fact, most of them aren't yet. So, so this tip that I'm going to show you today is really simple and it works. And you, they can share it with you in their drives. And you don't need Google Classroom at this point in order to work collaboratively and to share files with them. So here's how you, it goes. This is a file that's a Google Doc that I want to share with other teachers and have them make their own copy. I don't want to leave it up to them to understand that they have to make a copy of it. I want to force them to make a copy. In order to do that, I just copy the URL and I have to change it a little bit so that where it says edit, it will say instead copy. So I've prepared an email in order to share this with them. And I'm going to put the, the link here. And I'm just going to go grab the word where it says edit and write copy. And I'll show you what happens when I do that. And I'll put it in a new window. And this is what we're sharing with the people that we want to have to make a copy. There you go. They can't write on it. They have to make their own copy, save it in their drive, and then share it with you. And it's the same thing for Google Slides. Again, if I were doing a collaborative activity with my students and I wanted each student to have a, their own slide within the entire Google Slide um, presentation, then that would be one thing. But since here, in this case, I want each pair to do it on their own and to save a separate slideshow and to share that with me, I'm going to change the word that here says edit. But I'm not going to do it here because I don't want to screw up Rania's file. My wonderful colleague Rania made this. So I'm going to go back to my email, email where I'm going to be sharing it with them. I'm going to click it there. You can do this in a Google Doc or any place you can just write in it. Instead of edit, I'm going to write copy. Let's see how that comes out. There we go. They have to copy it, save it for in their own drive, share it with their teacher, and it's done. Be sure and watch the other tutorial that I made today that's connected here, linked up here someplace. And I hope that helps. Digitally yours. Bye.